it's easy to think that most big discoveries belong to the past, with lots of inventions that changed our world coming from way back when. But what if I said there are surprises out there that even the smartest scientists didn't see coming until satellites up in space showed them to us? Let's dive into 10 satellite discoveries that are seriously mind-blowing. 10. World's Largest Coca-Cola Logo Back in 2006, in the wide-open spaces of the Mojave Desert, KFC decided to try something pretty wild. They created a huge logo about 65,000 feet wide that people said you could see from space. This move into what's called geo-branding really got people talking and made some folks, especially environmentalists and those who think marketing should be more low-key, pretty worried about the idea of companies using the Earth itself to show off their logos. But this giant desert ad didn't stick around for long. By 2007, KFC had taken it down, and no other company has tried to do something quite like it since. It seems like this made a lot of big companies think twice about leaving such a lasting mark on the planet. What many people don't know is that Coca-Cola had done something similar way before, back when they celebrated 100 years by placing a massive logo made out of 70,000 Coke bottles in the Chilean desert. This wasn't as well known, partly because it happened at a time when not everyone could just pull up satellite images on their phones or computers. For Coca-Cola's 125th birthday, they even updated it to add 125 años underneath their famous logo. This Coca-Cola ad in the desert was meant more for the odd airplane passenger flying overhead than for a world constantly connected by satellites and screens. It's a piece of marketing history that now seems more curious than controversial, showing how creative brands can get with their advertising. Looking back at this ad now, it doesn't seem so much like an intrusion on the landscape, but more like a quirky piece of the past, a reminder of the lengths brands will go to make a lasting impression. The Coca-Cola logo in the desert has moved beyond just being about selling soda. It's become an interesting marker of a different time in advertising. And for that, the people who came up with it deserve a bit of credit. 9. The Loch Ness Monster In 2023, the area around Loch Ness in Scotland was alive with new stories about its most mysterious inhabitant, Nessie. The Loch Ness Centre, a place where both fans and sceptics gather, highlighted a sighting on October 8, 2023, that brought the old legends back into conversation. A Scottish photographer, John Howie, claimed to have seen something in the water that looked a lot like Nessie, describing it as being about 12 to 15 feet long. His photo, showing what appeared to be part of the creature, sparked a lot of talk, even though the image wasn't clear enough to convince everyone. The centre hasn't officially confirmed this sighting, but it continues to be a spot where people fascinated by the Loch Ness Monster can explore stories, historical finds, and scientific studies. In 2023 alone, there were eight notable reports of Nessie, adding to a collection of over a thousand accounts that keep the mystery alive. Alongside Howie's photo, another person, jokingly called Sherlock Holmes, or by his real name, Ian O'Fowder Gain, shared a video of a dark shape moving in the water. Captured in the late morning, this video shows a dark figure appearing above the water before disappearing again, making people wonder if it was just a regular part of lake life or something more unusual. However, not everyone's convinced. With each new sighting, the story of the Loch Ness Monster keeps going, showing how much people love a good mystery. Nessie's story invites everyone, whether they're true believers, hopeful dreamers, or skeptics, to think about what might be hiding in the depths of Loch Ness. 8. Undiscovered Island In 2022, a team of Australian researchers caused quite a stir in the mapping world when they undiscovered Sandy Island, a supposed island in the South Pacific that turned out to be just open water. Despite being as big as Manhattan on maps, the researchers found nothing there and jokingly wrote, 
an obituary for the island. This incident highlighted how Sandy Island had been a mistake on maps and even on Google Earth, showing up as a mysterious shape because of human error and possibly a misidentified pumice raft. The island was first mentioned by a whaling ship's crew in 1876 and even appeared on an official map in 1908. For more than a century, people were puzzled by its existence, as it was often missing from where it should have been. By the 1970s, it started disappearing from new maps, but the transition to digital mapping accidentally kept the island alive in the digital world. Maria Seaton from the University of Sydney pointed out how switching from paper maps to digital ones helped keep the island's legend going. The researchers on the RV Southern Surveyor were both surprised and amused when they sailed through the area where the island was supposed to be. Their work debunked a long-standing map error. The original sighting of Sandy Island might have been a floating pumice raft, not an island. These rafts are made from volcanic rock that can float and are common in that area, known for being a pathway for such phenomena, especially after volcanic eruptions like the one in 2012. By sorting out the truth about Sandy Island, the Australian scientists added a fascinating story to the history of exploration, mixing humour, mystery and scientific detective work. 7. The True Nature of the Kazakh Pentagram Out in the wide open lands of Central Asia, tucked away in Kazakhstan's vast steppes near the Upper Tobol Reservoir, there's something unusual that really stands out from the rest of the scenery a huge pentagram, big enough to be seen from way up in the sky. This mysterious shape, surrounded by a circle, is about 1,200 feet across. It's a striking sight in a place where few people go, with the closest city, Lysakovsk, about 12 miles away. This area is full of history, with signs of life from the Bronze Age, including ancient sites, cemeteries, and burial mounds that hint at its rich cultural background. The appearance of such a clear pentagram in this remote part of Kazakhstan has sparked a lot of wild guesses online, with people suggesting it might be the site of dark rituals, secret religious meetings, or even something related to aliens. And when you look at it on Google Maps, you find two spots named Adam and Lucifer, which only adds to the spooky stories about devil worship. But the pentagram symbol has been used by many different cultures and religions throughout history, from the ancient Mesopotamians and Greeks to early Christians, Freemasons, and Wiccans. It often represents things far from being evil. This pentagram in Kazakhstan is just one of many interesting things found on Google Maps that have caught people's attention, like supposed hidden bunkers in New Mexico or a huge ad for KFC in Nevada. However, the real story behind this pentagram in Kazakhstan isn't as mysterious as it might seem. An archaeologist named Emma Usmanova, who knows a lot about the area, explained that it's actually just the layout of a park from the Soviet times, when the star was a popular symbol used in everything from buildings to decorations. The park's pathways form the shape of a star, which is easy to see from above, and it turns out there's a straightforward explanation after all, a Soviet-era design choice, clearing up the myths about this pentagram. 6. Ancient rock structure hidden beneath Antarctica Under the thick ice of Antarctica, scientists have discovered something amazing that changes how we see the continent's biggest ice shelf, the Ross Ice Shelf. They used a super-advanced tool called the Ice Pod, which lets them look deep under the ice way better than satellites can. This tool shows them how thick the ice is and gives clues about the rock underneath by measuring magnetic fields and gravity. Kirsty Tinto, a marine geologist from Columbia University, leads this research. She found a big geological line that separates the eastern part of Antarctica from the western part. This line helps protect the Ross Ice Shelf from warm ocean currents that could make it melt faster. 
Because of this line, the seafloor on the east side is deeper, which changes how ocean water moves under the ice. The Ross Ice Shelf plays a huge role in controlling the world's climate. It keeps back a lot of ice that, if it melted, would raise global sea levels by about 38 feet. The research shows that this big divide under the ice stops warm water from getting to where the ice meets the ocean floor, which is really important for the shelf stability. However, the research also points out some weak spots, especially on the ice shelf's eastern side, where certain rock formations could make the ice melt faster in the summer. Things like the Ross Shelf Polynia, an area of open water, are part of this process, affecting how much ice melts and how fast the ice on land moves. These discoveries are super important, not just for science, but for understanding how Antarctica's ice melting could affect the whole planet. The Rosetta Ice Project, which this research is part of, aims to get a full picture of what the future might hold for the Ross Ice Shelf as the world changes. Helen Amanda Fricker, a glaciologist at the Scripps Institution of Oceanography, says it's really important to look at this from all angles, ice, ocean, air, and rocks, to really get what's going on in Antarctica. The Rosetta Ice Team is working to figure out how all these parts work together, which is a big step forward in understanding climate change and its effects. 5. Mysterious Symbols in China Desert Recently, Google Maps showed us some strange patterns in the Big Gobi Desert in China, and it got a lot of people talking. Some guessed they were secret spots for testing weapons or even signs for aliens. But Jonathan Hill, who works at Arizona State University and looks at pictures of Mars for NASA, says these odd designs are actually for something much more down to Earth. He thinks China uses them to make sure their spy satellites are working right. These huge white lines across the desert, big enough to cover areas like 0.65 by 1.15 miles, help line up satellite cameras up in space so the pictures they take are accurate. Hill guesses these patterns are probably just painted on the ground. He thinks using reflective materials would be too hard to keep up in the desert. This idea of making patterns for satellites isn't new or just a China thing. The US did something similar in Arizona back in the 1960s for their Corona Spy satellite program. Among these designs in the desert, there's one that looks a bit like Stonehenge with military jets in the middle. Hill thinks this is for radar testing, helping to tell the difference between what's a jet and what's just the ground. This is important for hiding military stuff from other countries' satellites. Some other designs seem to point to places where weapons are tested or big antennas, making it look like a huge military and science testing area right in the middle of the Gobi Desert. Even though some people thought these patterns were about aliens or other conspiracy theories, Hill's take shows they're really about military planning and satellite tech. 4. Hole keeps opening up in Antarctica. Back in the 70s, satellites flying over Antarctica caught sight of something weird, a huge gap in the sea ice that seemed to appear and disappear with the seasons. Jump ahead a few decades and it happened again, but even bigger this time, covering over 9,500 square kilometers. It would get massive during the cold months and then shrink when it got warmer. Scientists at New York University Abu Dhabi, NUAD, took a closer look and figured out that stormy weather, especially cyclones, was behind these massive openings, known as polinias. In September 2017, a particularly strong cyclone with winds hitting 117 kilometers per hour and waves reaching 16 meters high cleared the ice to create a polinia. These aren't just cool for satellite photos, they're crucial for sea life and even impact the climate. Seals and penguins use these openings to get around, and tiny plants called phytoplankton bloom here, making these spots lively marine hubs. But there's more polinias play a big role in how the ocean and air interact, especially in winter, and that can have a big impact on weather patterns all over the place. 
Diana Francis, who led the study, points out that these ice gaps are key pieces of the climate puzzle, not signs of impending doom. However, with global warming, there's a chance that more and stronger cyclones could make these pollinators more common, which could shake up climate models and affect everything from Antarctic winds to ocean currents. This connection between cyclones and pollinators shows just how finely balanced our planet's climate system is. It's a reminder that we need to keep a close eye on these icy phenomena. 3. The Badlands Guardian Hidden near Medicine Hat in the southeast corner of Alberta, you'll find a natural wonder called the Badlands Guardian. This fascinating land formation, seen from above, looks just like a human head wearing an indigenous-style headdress facing west. What makes it even more interesting is a road and an oil well that seem to add earphones to the figure, giving it a modern touch as if it's listening to the stars. These human-made details might fade away over time, but for now they make the formation look like a guardian of the land. It's even bigger than the famous faces on Mount Rushmore and shows the amazing work of wind and water on the soft, clay-rich land shaping a valley through erosion caused by heavy rain. Lynn Hickox stumbled upon the Guardian in 2005 while browsing Google Earth, making it one of the coolest discoveries on the virtual globe. It sits in a landscape with little vegetation and soft soil that gets rare but heavy rain. After it was found, a CBC Radio 1 show held a contest to name it, and the Cypress County Council officially called it the Badlands Guardian, with Time magazine listing it as a top 10 Google Earth find. This silent watcher is near lands historically occupied by the Siska First Nation people, or the Blackfoot tribes, in an area known for its stark yet dynamic landscape, shaped by the end of the last ice age and ongoing erosion. These kinds of landscapes across North America are constantly changing under nature's influence, making them unique pieces of natural art. Despite its potential as a tourist attraction, the Badlands Guardian isn't visited much because you can only really see its unique shape from the air, making it a hidden gem for those on the ground. 2. South Atlantic Anomaly NASA is keeping a close eye on a fascinating area known as the South Atlantic Anomaly. SAA, which stretches from South America all the way to Southwest Africa. People often call it a dent in Earth's magnetic shield or a pothole in space, because it's a place where the Earth's magnetic field isn't as strong. This weaker field is a big deal because it can mess with satellites and spacecraft, like the International Space Station, especially when they're flying low in orbit around the Earth. The problem is that in this area, solar particles can hit the spacecraft harder, potentially causing technical troubles or even permanent damage, which sometimes means systems need to be turned off for a bit when passing through. But NASA's focus on the SAA isn't just about avoiding these space travel hiccups. They're really interested in figuring out more about this anomaly, which is still pretty mysterious. The Earth's magnetic field comes from deep inside the planet, where hot iron moves around in the outer core, and this field doesn't look the same everywhere. Things like a big pile of heavy rocks under Africa and the way Earth's magnetic north isn't lined up straight might have something to do with the SAA's presence. Lately, scientists have noticed that the SAA is moving northwest and even splitting into two parts, which hints at how this thing is changing over time. Understanding the SAA is crucial because it could be showing us a normal thing that happens with Earth's magnetic field every so often, not necessarily a sign that the whole field is about to flip, a slow process that takes thousands of years. NASA's work, along with efforts from scientists around the world, is key to learning more about the SAA, helping keep space missions safe and giving us deeper insights into the mysteries of our planet's magnetic field. 1. Island Squared For a long time, 
People who love exploring and learning about different places were really into this small island, sitting in a lake on Volcano Island, which is right in the middle of Lake Tal in the Philippines. Everyone thought it was the coolest example of an island within an island, but thanks to a satellite called Landsat 8 that took pictures from space, there's a new top spot found in the quiet parts of Canada. This cool spot was officially recognized on August 21st, 2014. This little piece of land, not even big enough to be called much more than a spot, has turned out to be a super rare find. An island in a lake, on an island in another lake, on yet another island, it's like one of those Russian nesting dolls. This hidden gem doesn't even have a name. It sits in a small lake that's hugged by a bigger piece of land. This larger piece of land is one of the many spots that make up a bunch of long lakes about 75 miles off Victoria Island's southern coast in northern Canada. Even though Victoria Island is huge, not many people live there, which means there are lots of places, including this little island, that people haven't really gone to or named. Canada's full of interesting spots like this. There's Manitoulin Island, which is the biggest island sitting in a lake anywhere in the world, right in Lake Huron. And then there's Netiling Lake on Baffin Island, the biggest lake that's on an island. But finding this island squared, because it's an island in a lake on an island, in another lake on an even bigger island, adds something special to what we know about Canada's natural beauty. This finding isn't just exciting because it's a fun geographic fact, it also makes us think about what other secrets might be hiding in places we haven't looked closely at yet. Victoria Island is just one part of the huge Canadian Arctic archipelago, which includes around 36,000 islands. And with places like Nunavut, filled with millions of lakes and ponds left from the last ice age, who knows what other amazing things are out there waiting to be discovered. And with that, we've concluded our eye-opening journey through the cosmos, guided by the latest satellite discoveries that have left us in awe. I'm keen to know your reactions to these groundbreaking revelations. Share your thoughts below on these astonishing discoveries, and let's spark a conversation about the wonders that lie beyond our planet.